morning guys from our southern utah house we decided to come down here kind of last minute actually for our niece ollie's birthday so ollie also lives up in salt lake so they came down here we are down here and we're gonna be hanging out with parker's family this weekend so we're super excited just got done taking a few pics of the furniture in our house and cove is actually down for a nap right now she woke up i feel like she didn't wake up that early we woke up so early we woke up at like six and it's always the best when you like wake up that early and you're just like not tired like we were just like yeah. up and ready to be up so it was just one of those mornings where i feel like we did so much stuff and then you look at the clock and it's like 7 13. those are my favorite kind of mornings um parker went on a little mountain bike ride i got ready played with cove we ate breakfast i was gonna go to target before we put her down for a nap but we we're gonna go after i think we need like a couple things if you guys remember last time we were here we finished up a few things so we just like hung some of our prints and what else did we even do last time we were here I oh we put like all of the yeah, there's handles on. You look crazy. We hung. Yeah, yeah I look crazy. <laughs> there's more around the corner. We also did like the paper towel holders and the oh and yeah the towel holders. We did all those little details and stuff. So I feel like the house is probably like 80% done. Yeah. We have lights that we are going to replace just because they're like not really cute at all. So all of these little lights. Do you think we'll do that this time? Lights. Are we I gonna have time? Time. I those kind know. of like take a minute. We might do yeah. those when we come for Thanksgiving or like this one. That's gotta go. So the lights that we have, I'll just I'll show you guys when we actually do them, but they're just from Amazon and they look like can lights, like the normal lights, like this. But I don't think we're gonna do that this time. But I do wanna get her crib set up. Yeah, that's should we cool. go do that right now? I'm gonna go get gonna grab shower? some food. Oh, Parker hasn't eaten. We, we also started. have like we brought food with us, but nothing for Parker Not to eat for breakfast. Any, we so bring any breakfast food, yeah. There's oatmeal if you want it. Oh, you, yeah. Parker doesn't like to eat oatmeal like for breakfast. breakfast. I always love to come down here and sit on our six penny couch. It's the best. It's so big and so comfy. Seriously. So I'm gonna chill. I probably have a few things on my computer that I can get done. Oh, just look how far away I am. I know. Well, this couch is so big. Well, I like this couch better than our cloud our, our cloud couch. I do too. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because these guys sponsored us over the cloud couch. Honestly, I like this couch. This cloud, this couch better than the cloud couch. I do too. The cloud couch is really nice, but it is like a high maintenance couch. Just yeah. the fabric just gets really wrinkly, but we knew that before we bought it and I still like it. And it's so comfy that I still am like happy that we have it. This couch is just like a little bit lower maintenance. So we always love to come and sit on this couch and it's over bigger here. And it is bigger. I don't know, and I, like I think it it's less expensive. Yeah. Anyways, Cove is napping and then we're gonna go to Target. I'll probably make her a little snack when mm. she wakes up. She's very into snacks right now. So that was the update for the day. Okay, a couple hours later, Cove is awake. Come here. Her hair looks yeah. so cute oh, today no. and we kind of match. Come here. <laughs> she just pointed up here and we're like this. Show us more. You Come here. More? Come show the camera. Come here. Just having a couple grapes and I'm gonna make her a smoothie with our blend jet. Come here. Can you say more? We match a little bit. Can you say more? You want more? Can you sign it? Yes. Yeah. Now she saw the bananas. Can you sign? Too much, <laughs> too much pressure. But anyways, I have some bananas in here and I'm also gonna put in oh. some of these peaches and then I normally would do milk, but we don't have any here. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of water. So this is my new blend jet this is the blend jet 2 they are sponsoring today's video and i got one of these for my birthday last year so what they just released the blend jet 2 it's a portable portless blender that you can charge with a usb so it's amazing perfect for this house because we don't have a blender here so i'm going to turn it on <laughs> blends everything up super quick look at this it's your smoothie. And it's also not that loud, which is nice. I yeah, asked her one of these. Quiet. I saw an ad for this on Facebook. So Lauren got me, I asked her for one for my birthday and she got me one. Cause I wanted to be able to make smoothies when I go to the office. And now we also have another one that we can keep down here. I made you a smoothie. I've been loving smoothies lately. So it's super powerful. That just blended this up like so fast. It also has measuring things right here if you need that. It's also super easy to clean. I'm just rinsing this out and then I just put a little bit of dish soap in it and then blend it for a few seconds. So it cleans everything. It's also waterproof. You can lock it. Why aren't you drinking a smoothie? And it has up to 15 blends on a single charge, which is like amazing. So you can make a smoothie every day for like two weeks and wouldn't even need to charge it. What are you doing? Have a drink of this smoothie I made you. 
Mm, that's so good. I also have a code for you guys. It's currently on sale for 50% off. And then I have a code for an additional 12% off. And it's already pretty inexpensive anyways. And it's just the best. Portable, so easy, so convenient to just like take with you. It's super small and we love it. They have it in a million different colors. Not a million, but a lot of different colors. So the link is in the description. Check it out. It's the best. You can take your smoothie in the car and we'll go to Target. Wait, did I say what the code is? It's Aspen12. Yeah. Link is down below. First thing I'm doing is I want to get a matching coat for me and Cove. Medium. Look how cute, but they don't have my size. They have smaller than 2T. I know, I forgot my shoes. I need those here. Wait, you left them in. Oh. I left them, yeah. Like you came down here with no shoes. Yeah. yeah, I thought I was wearing them when I left. I know that I was, but I took them off. And then, yeah, I don't have any shoes. But I want to get these little puffers. What's smaller, extra small or 2T? I feel like That's this looks nice. smaller. Do you want a jacket? How cute. Look it's a cute cousin. People always say, where's Ollie? Here she is. There's Cassie and Jared. Okay, got shoes and walking back to the car. This is basically the exact replica of shoes that we carry at my store that I always wear. So, got a pair of these. Looking for the cart now. Jared has it somewhere. All right, next up we're in the workout aisle because I wanted to get a yoga mat so that I can work out here. We have a few other things in the cart, so I'll show you guys when we get home. It's kind of crazy. And I also need to get, I always feel like you guys can't hear me when I have this on, but I want to get a couple of like canned food things so that we have those for if like Cove needs lunch or something. I'm also gonna get some frozen food. Oh, look at all the Christmas stuff. So many people are decorating for Christmas already. I haven't even like thought about it. Oh, I wonder if they have my favorite cookies yet. The gingerbread men look like they don't have it yet. Okay, we're back in the car. It was crazy in there. These are the times that I think, how will we have two children? I know. <laughs> like how will we have two kids and like survive anything? I think we'll just have to take like, I'm not pregnant, I'm just thinking about it, but I think you just have to take a stroller, like a double stroller every day. Yeah, time. for sure. And we have to like put her in at the beginning and not take her out. Cause she was riding in this car seat yeah. fine, but then we decided to move her or to put her in the basket with, with Ollie, yeah. Ollie. And then she didn't want to do either, so. <sighs> you know, people will come for us if we say masks are annoying, but freaking feel like you're suffocating in there and then the babies are screaming and then you're running around trying to find stuff it was a very chaotic target trip i'll show you guys what we got when we get home because we did get a good amount of stuff some things we needed some things that we wanted we have to remember to put that food in your mom's freezer because i got a lot of freezer stuff so we'll do a little target haul later in the vlog but we're gonna go pick up some durango's if you're ever in southern utah you have to go to durango's it's like the one restaurant that i miss the most for sure, because they only have like the one location. Anyways, feels good to be in the car where it's a little bit more calm. We're gonna get Durango's for everyone and then eat it and we'll update you guys later. Okay, so we are back home now. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Really quick, I'll show you guys the food that I got just in case anybody's wondering. So first one I'm actually so excited about. It is these Auntie Anne's pretzels. I'm very curious to see if these will taste like regular Auntie Anne's you get at the store. Auntie Anne's always reminds me of back in the day when Parker and I lived in Southern Utah and we would travel a lot. There's not a big airport here. So we would always go to Vegas because obviously the airport there is bigger. So we would like fly out of Vegas. And every time we would get home, there's an Auntie Anne's or every time we get back to Vegas. And so we would always get that as our like after flight snack. And then we either had to drive home or we would take like the shuttle service home. So Auntie Anne's always reminds me of that, but I just ate that Durango's for lunch and then when I need a snack, I'm gonna have a pretzel. So yeah, I got that. I got this pizza for Parker. I got this pizza, which I don't remember if I talked about this on the vlog, but Totino's, isn't it Tostino's? Got these for if we need emergency pizzas. I also got a couple of these little things. Usually, like I said, we bring food, pad thai, but sometimes, like yesterday, we got sandwiches for lunch and Cole can't really like eat sandwiches just because it's hard for her to eat that. So sometimes it's nice for like stuff. I don't know why I'm explaining why I got food, but that's why I have so much freezer food. Pesto, just a couple of these things that are just like easy to heat up just in case I need them. I got Parker Hot Pockets and then another like noodle thing. And then I like to get mixed veggies for Cove. It'll be nice to know the freezer is stocked up. So now I'm gonna show you guys this pile of stuff that we got. At this house, I try to not have like a ton of stuff that we don't need. It's not like cluttered or crowded with a bunch of stuff that we don't actually use, but I did need some more things. First thing, like I said, we're here for Ollie's birthday and she got a frozen princess dress at Target. So I thought for her present, I would get her some little frozen PJs. I also got a gift bag for her. I'm pretty sure I bought these coats. So freaking cute. They had like different color options too. The baby one's even better because it's like fuzzy on the inside and has a hood. Hi pup, did you miss us? So for Cove, I got her a 2T, so it'll probably be a little bit big. I also got a matching one 
one for Ollie, and then I got a matching one for me. So that'll be really fun. We also got, we should hang this. Can we do this right now, babe? We got a TV mount, not that exciting, but in our room, the TV is just like sitting on the nightstand or the, the TV stand. Then I also got this game. This is called Sushi Go. We had some friends come over the other night and they brought this and it was super fun. And we always play card games and stuff with Parker's sister. And then I also got this yoga mat, which I don't think this is gonna fit in my TV cabinet actually, but I got this because I don't have one here and I did a little workout this morning and it will just be nice to have like a little yoga mat here. I didn't get weights or anything because the app that I use when I'm not home, and I use it a lot at home too, but the Melissa Wood Health app, I really like it. It has like such good workouts. The one I did today was like 12 minute legs or something. It was hard. Most of them you don't need any equipment or if you do, it's just like little one pound arm weights or like wrist weights. So I got these ones that are a pound and a half because I'm so strong. And then we needed um, hand towels for the bathrooms. So I got three that are this print. I also needed to get a mirror because when I was doing my hair, I couldn't see what the back looked like. So I grabbed a mirror really fast. Pretty sure I showed you guys these shoes already, but like I said, I forgot my shoes at home. So I got a pair of shoes. I also got a pack of bobby pins because I don't have any of those here. And then I got these little bowls for Cove because she sometimes tries to like lift up her bowls and stuff if we give her one. So I only have glass bowls here and these ones suction to the high chair. So I don't need to give her a plate. I can usually just like put her stuff on the tray or on her placemat. But if it's like super something where she needs a bowl, I gotta have a suction bowl so that she doesn't like drop my glass bowls from anthropology. That is everything we got. So that's my little target haul. Now I need to get a thumbnail. Welcome to another episode of Tool Time with Parker. Tool Time with Parker. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to hang your TV on the wall. Starting with this mount, super easy. Mount this to there, mount the piece to there, hang it on there, that's all. Okay guys, it is the next day. We've had a really fun day so far. Parker went golfing really early in the morning, so that's what he's been doing all day. And Cove and I went over to my grandma's for breakfast. She made us like literally a feast. It was pancakes, cinnamon rolls, oatmeal, fruit, like so much stuff. So we went over there and we played. We came back, Cove took a nap, and then she came over and we just spent the afternoon painting. So that was really fun. And now Parker is going to put together the Ikea crib. So I'll bring the camera out there and we can show you guys that. We so nice to actually have that done just so Cove has like the most comfy place to sleep but anyways I wanted to show you guys what I do when I don't want to wear any makeup but I'm not looking <laughs> so good no makeup makeup look really no makeup but my eyebrows are so crazy they just don't stay in place so I use only clear brow gel to brush them into place and then I just curl my eyelashes which I can do from back here now that I have my mirror I got from Target because my eyelashes literally just go like stick straight. I do a few different versions of this look. Sometimes I'll put on like a little bit of mascara if I want to, but I feel like curling my eyelashes just helps so much. Just helps to like open up your eyes because mine literally go like straight down. And that's it. That's really all I do for if I like don't want to actually wear makeup. Or I could also put on this little like lip balm thing I have from Clinique. Put that on and then if I wanted to actually do a tiny bit of makeup, I would do mascara and then just like a little bit of highlighter 
and you're good to go. You look like you're in baby jail. Oh, this looks like it'll be fast to put together. It won't be too bad, yeah. This is the crib we have from Ikea. Cove also has the same one at home. It's nice because it's pretty inexpensive and just like minimalistic and simple. So we did get her another one instead of the pack and play. I think they have a couple different mattresses. So we do get the most expensive mattress for it, but the actual frame itself is like pretty inexpensive. And I think it's really cute. So we're gonna set this up for your room, Bubba. The next day, we're finishing this up really quick because we leave today, so we got the crib in here. I have this rug I that I got a while ago. I found this rug in the dresser. I was yep. like, why is this folded up in the dresser? Let's put it in Cove's room. So it was my idea. Yep. Don't try and take credit. I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Parker's an interior designer. Yep. I'm happy we got this little crib set up for her. And then I have had this wall hanging for like ever and we don't have anywhere to put it at home. So we are gonna hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was also gonna say, I feel like this house has been feeling like homier and homier every time we come. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to just we have like, like little yeah, things like the right, rug or well, have a crib set up right. for her. Where do you want it? Um, Over on this side, I think. Right in the middle? Mm, no, I was thinking on the side. Wait, I feel like the crib's not centered. I don't think it is. Which way does it need to go? It needs to go this way. Is that better? Yeah, it needs to go like over that. Like that thing needs to go over. Like that? Sure. Really? I don't know. <laughs> this isn't like amazing decor. We just want to like hang this up because we don't have anywhere to put it. I also have this little pillow that I put in here in her sleep sack. And then I actually ordered another camera and sound machine. Forgot if I said that, but we always like take these back and forth and we're going to always need these here. So we might as well just have two. It makes sense. I don't know Hold on, let me go get this. coat. I think that we should get some other things. I think we should put it up. I'm not going to put anything. We're not like fully decorating this house. Okay, just tell me real quick where. You're there? Yeah, that's good. Done. Wow, that just completes the room, babe. Added a little something something. I don't think we'll put anything else in here because like I said, we're not like really fully decorating it. We got a chair in here We do though. have a chair yeah. in here, which we use when we like put her to bed and stuff. And then just that little table to put her sound machine on. Usually I have her stuff in a backpack. So we so can open to put this up and like can sit on these shelves. We've got good closets in this place. Mm. Hey, babe. Not really. <laughs> yeah, they've got shelves and multiple ring or hangings. That's what all closets have. These, they're just no like way. the built-in closets. And then we have this like blackout blind thing like suctioned up in the window there because we don't have real blackout blinds here. And I wish we could get them, but these window, we well, know. it's not deep enough. At home, we have like two sets of blinds. So this is a normal one and then the blackout one's behind it. But this window's not deep enough to hang up like two of those. So this is probably the solution we'll keep for like a long time. But anyways, Kobe's little room. So cute. And then this is the current state of the guest room. So we're supposed to be getting a mattress soon. We have this cute little print that I'll probably hang up in here. And then I ordered a nightstand. I ordered two of them, the ones that we have in our room from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a little side table and I still haven't gotten them. I ordered like two months ago. I don't know, but we have a few like lights and stuff that we can hang up. And like I said, we're gonna switch out these lights for ones that look like can lights next time we come down. We also need to put away this pack and play because we don't use it now. Yeah, so. it'd be nice to have that too. Because guess what, if we have come with two big or like a friend that has a baby or something. Yeah, I think we should just keep that here and keep it in Coast closet. Yeah. Dude, this whole house is gonna be like finished soon. Yeah, it'll be pretty much done probably next time we're here, so. Yeah. All right guys, thanks for watching. That's all for today's video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this, uh, some of our Southern Utah adventures. I'm loving this place. I love how it's coming together. Definitely plan on staying here a lot more through the winter time. But anyways, that's all for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm.